the Fema Media Industry is encapsulated in this small literary piece titled My Nollywood Experience. It shows how the self funded, public driven sector has evolved over the years with many unpleasant and sometimes near death experiences. When I was to be killed in 1995, yes. Ah, Emma, 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 Anywhere you go in Nigeria, even back then, people are struggling, people are thinking of how to put food on their table. No one is really that happy. It was not until I walked into this position I realized why there was a perception of us being happy. It's because of the creative industry, it's because of our ability to express ourselves creatively, whether it's through Nollywood or whether it's through our music, and this is what the world really sees. And I know and understand that Nigeria presently is going through a very difficult and challenging situation where the government really is trying to do what it can to make lives easier, to give Nigerians a better, better life and better correct the situation and the food prices and what, what have you. I promise you, we are working diligently and very hard to ensure that Nigerians have a better line. That before Nollywood came in to be a all, there have been filmmakers. The first film made in Nigeria was made by the British in 1926, called The Palama. It was racist, it, was, it looked down, and when you see the opening, something of it take that there have been some cannibals for some years and so on. So, they couldn't tell our story. After this, there were so many other attempts. We have Bullfrog in the Sun by Kapeni Films. We have Amadi by Ola Bologun. And then, Tubatogunde, the late Tubatogunde. Two, three. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> My Nollywood experience. Woo! Congratulations, Mr. Kainde, and thank you.
the film industry happy with the engineering of renewed hope. Our minister has been up and doing, determined to create a highly developed model for the sector. This is evident by her appearance today in the historic creative city of Abeokuta, the cradle of civilization. The icons, veterans, and pathfinders of this industry have over the time been abandoned and neglected such that their unquantifiable values and inputs not felt in this version. And that is why we are where we are today. We could be better culturally and socially projecting the African values. A river addict says a river that forgets its source is ready to dry up. What is your The building arts, film and creative should urgently tap into the resources of our veterans and icons we still have a lot to offer for the valuable creative sector. Nigeria is surviving now largely through the entertainment sector, which in no small ways support our health sector by preventing depression and other illness, etc. Our only way is what is entertaining and making Nigerians laugh despite the hunger. Nigeria is considered to be one of the happiest nations on earth only due to knowledge and the entertainment sector. A well-established color of films for icons which will support our heroes and pioneers need to be considered by the ministry. After all, pensioners in civil servants and other sectors are taken care of by the government. Let me use this opportunity to pass a message across to our god given president, President Bella Ahmed through our amiable minister, that the Nollywood icons and the industry feels neglected and abandoned. We are not recognized. Despite our valuable impact to the nation's development, this sector has a think tank of well-educated, vastly knowledgeable, and highly industrial individuals that can help in no small ways in moving the country forward. Some are here present on this occasion. We have veterans, old papas. We have the oldest actor in Nigeria from Ogo State. He's literally, the man cannot come here because he's about 103 years old now. He couldn't make it. He will have been here. But we have the record. The huge potential of the industry has not been tapped. I am positive that this government of President Paul Ahmed Tinubu will make significant development to inputs to Nollywood. That is why a separate ministry for the creative sector was established, and our minister here present is championing the progress of Nollywood. A regular initiative by the president, the Nollywood Team Camp, is expected to drive the vision of fusion. The icons, veterans, and creative analysis are ready, very ready, if invited by the ministry. We are expecting, expecting the invitation by the government of the day. Thank you all. And welcome to my podcast. We are here today to share a story, a journey through Nollywood in the shores of someone with a unique perspective of his trajectory, Mr. Kainde. Nollywood holds a very special place in the hearts of millions around the world. It manifests what makes us Nigerian, that spirit, that drive, that zeal, and that desire to speak our truth unapologetically as only we indeed can. Mr. Kainde, in your speech, you mentioned something which I often say in my own speeches when I go around the country speaking about the industry, which is the fact that Nollywood is really what makes people happy. There was a study many years ago that said Nigerians are the happiest people in the world, and I often speak about this story. And I, when I first heard of it, I said, how can that be? You know, obviously this is not a study that is reflective of the reality of Nigeria, because anywhere you go in Nigeria, even back then, people are struggling, people are thinking of how to put food on their table. No one is really that happy. It was not until I walked into this position, I realized why there was a perception of us being happy. It's because of the creative industry. It's because of our ability to express ourselves creatively, whether it's through Nollywood or whether it's through our music. And this is what the world really sees. 
And I know and understand that Nigeria presently is going through a very difficult and challenging situation where the government really is trying to do what it can to make lives easier, to give Nigerians a better better life and better correct the situation and the food prices and what, what have you. I promise you, we are working diligently and very hard to ensure that Nigerians have a better life. But there is a process that we're going through. So for my own part, being the Minister of Art, Culture and Creative Economy, I feel I have a responsibility to give Nigerians some measure of elation, some measure of hope, some measure of happiness through the magic of the creative industry. To you, my brother, Mr. Kayende, the country is grateful to you for your dedication, your brilliance, and your unwavering commitment. Kayende Day is going to have five segments. The first segment is the introduction. The second are the highlights of the book itself. So the facts of the book, the highlights of the book, then some oversight, and finally the conclusion. Nollywood has been with us for some time. Though it started and had controversial beginning, controversial tales about it. But what do we expect? When Nollywood, our film industry was named by a foreigner. Despite this, we need to understand this fact that Nollywood had grown. It has moved from what it was at the beginning to what it is now. We have the new Nollywood. But absolutely there's no way we're going to discuss the film industry without necessarily looking at the beginnings and the evolution and the origin of the film industry. And when we look at the beginning, there were controversies. Who started it? What was the first thing? and so on and so forth. But what we need to know is the fact that Nollywood has grown. It has become the second largest film industry in the world when it comes to production. It's after Hollywood. Bollywood is just coming after that. Now, what are the highlights of this book? Before we talk of the highlights, we need to understand that before Nollywood came in, to be at all, they have been filmmakers. The first film made in Nigeria was made by the British in 1926, called The Palava. It was racist, it, was, it looked down, and when you see the opening, something of it take that there have been some cannibals for some years and so on. So, they couldn't tell our story. After this, there were so many other attempts. We have Bullfrog in the Sun by Kapeni Films. We have Amadi by Ola Balogun. And then Hubato Gunde, the late Hubato Gunde came and then moved theater into film. This book, therefore, serves as one of the outstanding books that give us Nollywood story from the horse's mouth. The writer is a well-placed intelligentsia, a media practitioner, a producer, director, marketer, and a dramatist of high repute. What are the book facts? The book is, an, is a 128-page book, divided into 23 chapters, well printed with a beautiful glassy cover, embossed title, and sharp pictures that do not bleed with clear, bright printing. The book contains a forward, a preface, and a conclusion. The book is without an index but with pictures that complement the stories being told. The author as a media personality wrote in a moving prose. What are the highlights of the book? Quickly, let us look at the highlights. What are those things we found in the book that told the history of Nollywood, that told the history of Nigeria? One, Nollywood's outstanding historical fact. Two, the book is a panoramic view of Nigeria's past. He also talked about Ishaya Omogu, Ishaya the Anthem, how the Anthem came to be. Through the OGIE Pro, that is Ogu, 
indigenous entertainment professional. I recommend the book for general readers, academics in film studies, most especially those in film history and Nigerian and African film history. This book is a good read and a compendium of facts about Nigerian nation and the evolution of Nollywood. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I think some of the issues you raise, such as the piracy, is something that we have completely taken into account. And I can hear say that within the next two weeks max, we will deliver IP policy for you. So piracy will be a thing of the past. Your work will be protected. So I'm happy to announce that here today. Thank you. Yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> so I would like to launch the book from there. Okay. That's that's big. Okay. One, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> My Nollywood experience. Woo! Congratulations, Mr. Kindian. Thank you. Yes. Congratulations, and I will celebrate you. Jesus, I will celebrate you. Let us all be appreciating anybody that does good for us. Mm. In this book, this Baba is here. Mr. Obafemi Ajayi, he has been, he was my manager when I was to be killed in 1995. Uh -huh. Yes. Ah, Kabeese, Emma, 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 He's supposed to be in the United Kingdom, in the UK, wow. uh, on Thursday. Wow. But he's waiting for wow. me for this hour. That's why wow. I'm all the way from the Wow. 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 Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Now, give us everybody, please, can we have, give him a, a standing ovation? For he is a jolly good fellow. For he is a jolly good fellow. For he is a jolly good fellow. And so to all of us, for he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow. Hey, Congratulations, we celebrate you, Alain Daddy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Ah, congratulations, sir. Congratulations, sir. God bless you. Darling, oh, you see more. You see Once again, a round of applause. Don't say. I got to connect you, Laro. That made me to become an icon in the field of architecture. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Otkumos Award to the son of late Kayode Otkumos. God bless you. Thank you. I hope you will keep it up. But that was a very valuable action in Hollywood. Congratulations. Thank you very much. If you are not here, O T V in a way. Hello, subscribe. Sorry, O T V. Can you move O T V. 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 O T V.
TV. Hmm?